Believe it or not, folks, this video has been on the list and thus the mine for many years. But what once started out as a showcase of just the pirate loot has turned into all of this nonsense. For you see, I came to find that there was more to the hidden hat market than just out there on the high seas. So why not cover our noggins with every hat that's not readily available? Yes. Let's get to it. Still starting with some moon key exclusives, like the pirate bandanas here dropped by Potter Monkeys. They hide plenty of mechanics under the wraps, as wearing one will work to half the durability use of an ore while we are rowing with any type of ore out there, can and will increase the speed and efficiency of raising and lowering mass, if that's a thing you're into, and will also extend the very same mechanics to anchors here. And yes, they can also be sewn for your needs, but something tells me that such a thing won't be needed, even if Potter Monkeys only have a 30% chance to spawn in with one when exiting their huts, as not only will clearing the island result in more than enough bandanas for sure, our next quest to cover our head pretty much guarantees three bandanas each time. The only problem is, the quest isn't as easy to access, and thus the loot it comes with is not as easy to amass, as in order to start them, we need a pirate raid, folks. A random event on on the ocean that can be manipulated via world settings and or a hostile flare or two, but even then, the former counts on proximity to the island, while the latter needs glamour no matter what. But whatever the case may be, however, we're after both the tricorn hat here and a pirate mat for later use, so be prepared for a fight or two. But Captain Tricorns also last for six days and are all about the durabilities of our nautical circles, everybody. Not only will wearing one cut the durability drain of boats by hat, including on the never-ending drains of grass rafts here, any damage taken from running into anything out there on the water will also be halved. Simple enough, yet very effective for sure. But even if you're off a boat, don't go tossing them away just yet, as we'll be needing them on our treasure hunts here. Read that map you got earlier, head to the X, dig it all up, and hope that the game gives you a proper blueprint, as we've only got a 50% chance out of it, honestly. But what we're looking for is is the Polly Rogers hat here that must be crafted via that very tricorn hat, as you can see, alongside a canary feather and a black flag. A resource found by a hammering powder monkey flags, in case you're wondering. But put one on once you manage all that, and Polly Roger himself will be born. Now our new friend here will follow us wherever we go and fly about the area, collecting most resources and most resources alone, as he's actually got quite the list of things not to carry. But he we will still prioritize the furthest loot, will fly over water and cave holes, and can even pick up entire stacks. Be mindful though, Polly can indeed die, even if he does do his best to avoid dangers. And if he does die, the hat will not only change, but will have to wait a full day for his return. So my advice, don't actually use the hat beyond loot gathering, and actually take it off to keep Polly safe. You can despawn and respawn him that way. And while the original video would have been over for now, the fun is just beginning for us today, as fun caps here are another noggin topper that many may have never seen, so I thought I would introduce them to ya. They will help reduce our hunger drains by 25%, give us some weather protection, and will even produce appropriately colored mushroom spores every minute. Be very aware of the sneaky downside though, as all fun cap types also spoil all perishables in our inventories 50% faster, and this also includes things that we are holding like Hambat's mind. But if you want them, you'll also have to work for them, as only Toadstool, Misery Toadstool, and Claus's Loot Stash are our options here, with Misery dropping two fun cap blueprints guaranteed. And yes, to state the obvious, we've got red and green fun caps too. Enjoy. Milkmaid hats follow suit and are easily the most unique gear here, as they aren't even a hidden craft, but a hidden crockpot recipe. Requiring nostrils from naked mole bats down in the lunar grotto here, alongside some dairy and kelp, the hat will restore four hunger every five seconds for half a day while sitting atop our noggins, and will maybe hit us for a teensy tiny sand of the drain, but it's not that big of a deal. But yup, that's actually it. That's all it does. It's not great, but it is truly on this list due to how obscure it actually is. Which also just so happens to be the main reason behind the absolute dumbest hat in this game being on the list today. Ash Struggles, given to us by Wagstaff once we enter a moonstorm and do nothing or just find them outright. They're crafted via potatoes and moon glass in an effort to give us a unique option at navigating said moonstorms. The only problem is that the only truly unique thing about this 
is that it recharges via moon gleam shocks, as desert goggles still work within moonstorms, and Wagstaff's indicator is completely meaningless. The guy is so easy to find that he essentially finds you, and all we need to do is walk in the direction that he does for Pete's sake. These suck. Don't use them. And on that high note, we end the day with the best honorable mention in the history of honorable mentions, the Tam O'Shanter. Really only here as again, it's not an immediately available craft. It should still be noted for its respectable sanity regeneration and insulation factors. Drop via Mac Tusks a mere 25% of the time, which, I suppose, is another reason why I wanted to show it today, as some of you may have never seen it before. Be sure to check your forest for the guaranteed natural Mac Tusks spawn, perhaps get lucky with a triple Mac out there in the world, or sleep under a fully decorated winter's feast tree every four days if you want one. Good luck. As there you have it, everyone, the quote-unquote hidden hats of Don't Stop Together and their many various uses. Here's hoping the theme of this video wasn't lost or completely blown by yours truly, as I do kind of feel like I'm missing one. But hey, that's what you guys are for. Thanks for watching, folks. Well, wish you all, the haberdashery is now open, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.